Hi, I'm Holly. I'm Sharice. And welcome to Reality Check. We are real moms. Check it out. <laughs> Keeping it real for all of you gals out there. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Our last series was all about your period. Go check that out, the Ask Mom series on growing up. And this series is all about you. Just understanding what it means to be a girl and grow up and um, you know, it'll be some about boys, some about dating, some about your body, some about how you talk to yourself, you know, about what you think about who you are. Mm -hmm. And uh, today we're just going to chat a little bit about um, what it's like to be in those early teen years um, and how you think about yourself and um, sort of the stress of this time of growing up. Mm -hmm. And I'll try to remember back to those years. It's hard because we're old. And how easy we forget. But we do have daughters going through it, mm -hmm. and so that helps us to remember. Mm -hmm. Yes. But sometimes um, parents can minimize the amount of stress that kids go through. Right. Assuming that it's all play and a lot of fun, and the truth is, is that there's a lot of hard stuff about growing up, isn't there? Right. That's true. Yeah. And it's always easier to look at somebody else's uh, life and think that it's so much easier than all the stuff that you have. So that's where sometimes parents do that, right? Well, and that's a really good point because even as kids, you'll do that. You know, parents might look at their children and think, oh, their lives are so easy, everything's provided for them. Right. Um, and that's a misconception. That's not the truth, that, that being a kid is easy. And um, children will also do that to other children or teens to other teens mm -hmm. and think, oh boy, they've got it easy. They have this and this and they don't have to do these things or they get all of these things and I'm not allowed those things. And, right. and the truth is, is that every family has their own dynamic, every mm -hmm. kid has their own experience and everybody is going through hard things. That's true. Yeah. So part of it is gonna be just recognizing what those stressors are in your life. And for some kids it's gonna be sports. Mm -hmm added on to schoolwork and high expectations maybe from your parents or your teachers or even from yourself if you happen to be kind of a perfectionist then it may be that you really have very very high expectations of how you should perform um, and then also there's you know if you're involved in a church sometimes there's expectations there too of how you should be or act or more things to participate in and what other things could there be academics sports family church expectations of your family family, so responsibilities at home, mm -hmm. or even about how you're to react with your other siblings, mm -hmm. or take care of the things you have, um, and so all those things added together, and along the with... the drama of friendships, right? Oh, that's huge. Huge. Yeah, that is huge. You're trying to figure out who's your friend, and one week it's one person, and one week it's another person, and you know, mm -hmm. you're trying to figure out all that stuff. That's kind of stressful. And then all of that added, added onto the body changes right and emotional changes that you're having in this time of your life as you're growing into being um, you know every year growing closer to being an adult mm -hmm. and so that is really a lot on a girl's plate true isn't it mm -hmm. so <clears throat> I guess today what we want to do is just affirm the fact that we get that and just being able to see that this is just a phase in your life that you're learning how to be a multifaceted person right mm -hmm. And there's no easy way to do that. No. No easy way. And sometimes you just wish someone would take something off your plate, right? right. You just wish Except someone for would... your dessert, not your dessert, but like maybe your peas. Take your peas off your plate. Exactly. Right? Well, it's, it's never the thing that you want taken off. It's always the thing you don't want to do that you want taken off, like the peas, right? right. The peas are what you don't want, and the dessert you'd want heaped up double. Double scoop. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But um, I've thought about it. As a, from a mom's point of view, as much as I don't want my kids to feel, you know, overly stressed about life, it's also important that they um, learn how to manage the stresses of life, right? right. So if you take everything away and life is super, super easy, you're also not really learning anything. And so as much as I would love to take and I would be capable of taking every chore off their plate and doing them all myself, it's important that they learn how to be personally responsible mm -hmm. in their own home so that their roommates in college don't hate them. That's true. And so that when they get married, they are able to manage taking care of themselves and teaching someone else how to take care of themselves, right? Yeah. So we're just looking forward to sharing all kinds of 
different ideas that we have about how to keep it real as a girl, mm -hmm. how to go through all of those growing up experiences. And hopefully this will be a series that will really touch you or have some meaning for you or maybe bring up some questions for you. And uh, again, hopefully you'll contact us and let us know if there's a video you'd really like us to do um, about growing up. Because that's Perfect. what we're here for. Yes. And we're not even fully grown yet, so. Mm -mm. I mean, I'm 5'5". Five five. I'm hoping to gain like an inch later I am only life. five feet tall. Mm -hmm. and She's I have, not fully grown at all. And I'd like to talk about the pain of being five feet tall with size nine feet. Mm -hmm. She's steady on her feet, that's for sure. We're not all perfect, are we? She's one person you can't push over. <laughs> <laughs> I've tried.